Today's question from an email subscriber is, what are some examples you have seen of how somebody had completely transformed for the better? Also, how can I begin to discuss with my friend without it turning into an argument? I try to be invitational, but it can sometimes be so hard. Thank you for the, taking the time to read this. Uh, I didn't read the whole email. Earlier in the email, this person wrote in saying how their friend used to be devoted uh, Christian and has since fallen away from the faith. They even went so far as to renounce it publicly and declared that they were agnostic. So then they're asking, do you have any examples of people that have turned uh, for the good? And how can uh, this person reach their friend without it turning into an argument? So examples, um, <laughs> uh, there's thousands, hundreds of examples, right? If we read the Bible, there's lots of examples. The most obvious one that comes to my mind, first of all, would be the Apostle Paul, who you know was originally named Saul. He hated it, right? He hated uh, the faith, uh, persecuted it with zeal, right? And then later, he had an encounter with God, and it changed his life. Later, he became, you know, very um, extreme to, for the faith. So that would be an example. Real life examples, there's a lot of them. I mean, I've known every everybody I've known has, has a story, and they have some kind of um, experience that's um, uh, some kind of experience where they have encountered God in ways that's helped them. So, of course, not everybody is that way, but there's a lot of examples of that. Um, just ask around if you if you if you need examples for that. I, I don't think there's a shortage of those. Um, so that's that part. Uh, how can I discuss it with my friend without it turning into an argument? I think um, for somebody to grow up in the faith like that, be so uh, for it, and then as years go by later, they eventually change their heart and change their mind. I don't think you're gonna logic them in back into the faith. I don't think you're going to come up with some kind of persuasive argument or something that they've not heard before, right? Probably what has happened, I don't know this person, but probably what has happened, something along in their life opened up an a, door, a door for an offense. They probably experienced something they didn't like, and they couldn't come to grips with it. They couldn't let go of it, or it didn't make sense to them in their mind. So they couldn't get over the offense. So the issue of the heart is not logic, right? It's really probably an offense. It's probably something within them that they just either don't like or refuse to agree with. So um, finding uh, a way to talk to them isn't going to work, I don't think. I really don't think so because it's not a, a logical matter, right? It's a matter of the heart. So rather than trying to find a way to argue with them or even just debate it with them or talk to them about it, I would just say be cool to them, right? Be kind to them, be loving to them, and let your actions speak what uh, more than what your, what your mouth will, right? You can influence people a lot just by uh, doing what's right and doing what's good. And if this guy has a background in his faith, he's going to understand why you're doing it, right? So it will provoke his heart. There's Something about love demonstrated consistently and deliberately that goes around our intellect and it goes straight to the uh, mis uh, attitudes of our heart. So I would say don't try to figure out a way to uh, argue with him or, or even bring up the subject. Just be a regular, normal friend to him. Be good to him. Let your light shine. I don't mean uh, back down or agree with with. Um, with things if he says otherwise, you know, if he says there is no God, I'm not saying agree with him for that, uh, with that, but uh, just let your light shine, just be who you are. Don't worry about um, trying to uh, have the perfect answer to say. You may not have the perfect answer to say, and that's okay. It's not really up to you to try to win every argument or to explain it in such a way that makes perfect sense for every person. They're on their own individual path. And while it, it's troublesome, um, you do see people fall away from time to time, and you know what? That's their choice, right? They're allowed to do that. They're allowed to, to go that way. Sometimes it's forever. Sometimes it's a phase, right? Sometimes it's just like a prodigal son situation where they fall away for a year or two or what, however many.
but then they return back. Um, other times they fall away altogether and they never return, you know, and, and that's just, that's the world we live in, unfortunately. So, you know, it bothers you, but at the same time, they have that right to choose. They have that freedom to choose. So I don't really think that browbeating people is an effective way, right, to persuade them, right? Because even if you, you know, like some people have a strong personality and, and they're very good at debating and arguing, if that's the case and they end up losing the argument, what they end up really end up saying yes to is that argument or saying yes to you or the power of somebody's personality. And that never sticks. It might stick for a week or two or a month or two or something, but ultimately they're not transformed in their heart. So that never, that never works. That never really stays. It's not a lasting transformation because they're really just saying yes to the power of somebody's personality or the persuasiveness of an individual or the circumstances. If they don't have a heart-to-heart -heart encounter with God, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for them to continue with it. They really need to meet Jesus. They really need to have an encounter with him. They really need to decide that this is the right thing for them and then follow through with it day by day. They can't do it halfway and they can't do it um, to try to please somebody else. So I would say just love the people. Don't worry about uh, trying to win arguments or present a case that makes sense to them. Those are my thoughts about that. If you have questions, comments, whatever, post it in the uh, comment section down below. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you soon.